I I left my wife um, 10 days after the birth of our second daughter. I would never abandon my children. I was just doing what was necessary because it would have been worse if I stayed. It has been a year since Nigerian singing and dancing princess Coral Biddy's marriage to American-born chiropractor Justin Dean ended. Sadly, the couple are still not on good terms, co-parenting in peace, forgiving each other or moving on amicably. Despite the bitter divorce and the drama that continues to unfold, many of Kora's Nigerian fans have been asking her to forgive and, if possible, take her husband back. But it looks like this is not an option for Kora as the physical and mental wounds her ex-husband inflicted on her life are still very much fresh. Kora Obidi has always vowed that she would never go back to her ex-husband, Justin Dean. According to the all-round entertainer, during a Facebook Live with fans back on September 8, 2022, said no amount of counseling, reconciliation effort, or cyberbullying can ever save a marriage. Even if you give me $20,000, I am not going back to my ex-husband. Divorce is not easy. Even if you used $20,000 to dash me to go back, you know go happen. I said what I said. I, Chukufunaya Obidi, first of her name, last of her kind, Princess of Oshimli North, local government, Ibuzo Princess. I am not suffering, okay? Divorce is not easy, but I'm not suffering. Let me tell you something now. If you are in an abusive relationship, do yourself a favor and get out. It's no secret that Justin Dean has been going around saying he made Cora who she is today and she's nothing without him. But the US-based singer, who has been living her best life since her separation and divorce, told him that he is not a creator and despite denting her image, she will make it. But surely, this is not the only reason why the beautiful Deltan princess would not forgive her ex for all the trauma he put her through the past one year. There is still more. Stay back as we go over the top 11 reasons why Kora Obidi is done and dusted with her estranged husband, Justin Dean, and would never dream of returning to him. Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Justin Dean walked out on Kora days after giving birth. There is a common saying that you never kick a person when they are down. That is exactly what Justin Dean did to Kora Obidi, his wife of over 3 years after she gave birth. On February 28, 2022, Cora gave birth to her second child, Athena, via an unmedicated water birth at home. Already caring for their first daughter, June, who was still a toddler and then a newborn in hand, it was obvious Cora was in her most vulnerable state and now estranged husband, Justin Dean, chose the same time to end their marriage. Barely a week after welcoming their second child, the Los Angeles-based chiropractor took to his Instagram page to pull what many initially assumed was a media prank on March 9, 2022. Justin came out to say that their marriage was over and he was divorcing the nursing mother. He wrote, Cora Obidi and I are getting a divorce. It's over. I won't be treated this way longer. I did my absolute best to make it work. This father of two in a series of posts accused the new mother of being a narcissist and cheating on him causing Cora to become a victim of social media rage and susceptible to postpartum depression. Thankfully, the mother of two survived this dark period, but it has also become the basis for which she would never forgive what he did or take him back. Justin Dean made the divorce a public mess. It's one thing to announce the end of your relationship online, it's another to share damning information about what may or may not have gone wrong. But as you already know, Justin Dean is two times guilty. According to Cora Obidi's elder sister, Nancy Ume, when Cora and Justin fight, they often threaten each other with divorce. However, things went out of order just when they welcomed their second child. Justin Dean told Cora it was going public to announce their divorce. According to Cora in her book, Cora is Life, she begged him not to go public and asked if he could work on the divorce quietly. And now ex-husband refused. Instead, he went online several times to narrate different reasons why he divorced Cora. That's why I'm divorcing Cora, because she used the kids to hurt me, and I thought that was wrong, and I didn't want Athena to go through the same things that June's endured the last few years. In his court document, he added that Cora threatened to end his life several times. It looks like going public to rant about getting a divorce gave Cora the courage to take a bold step and give Justin what he wanted. Cora is the one who took action and filed for a divorce. So now, with this 
I'm going to, I was going to split custody with Cora, and now I'm taking full custody. I'm going to fight her. Today, however, Justin Dean said that going public was the best decision he made and was also to protect himself. Justin Dean accused Cora of cheating with multiple people. Beyond calling Cora Obidi a narcissist, the father of two accused the dancer of being a public toilet, which every Tom, Dick and Harry could access. Justin said she sleeps with random men and has had affairs with Nigerian entertainers, including Don Jazzy, Slim Case and Peruzzi. Random men while she was four months pregnant, you know, like she was literally accepting money for organizing threesomes with rich Nigerian men. However, just months after Koraobidi's sister, Nancy Ume, weighed in on the matter and gave her side of the story, the financially struggling chiropractor made a U-turn on his allegations. He confessed that his dancer ex-wife only had a fling at the beginning of their marriage, which Kora also admitted in her book. Both agreed, she confessed and he forgave her. However, while they were divorcing, he used the incident against her, adding more spies to the infidelity. Again. The American sports therapist added insult to injury after he was exposed in a leaked audio chat with Facebook blogger Flora. Justin shockingly accused Cora of being paid to organize threesomes for rich Nigerian men and having affairs with random men during their marriage while boasting about having an explicit video of Cora in the act with other men. If this is not enough reason for Cora to keep her ex-husband in the past, it is. Justin claims he made Cora. Just weeks after Justin announced his separation from the beautiful mother of two, fans reminded him that Cora made him famous and is an unknown personality without her. However, the father of two begged to differ. In several social media posts and chats, Justin bragged about making Cora who she is today. According to him, he dedicated five years of his life to helping her career. He brought her to Los Angeles, where her dreams of reaching fame were likely to come true. While she was trying to make a name for herself, he took care of Cora financially until she eventually started making her own money via social media. In several of his remarks, Justin insinuated that without his support from China, he met Cora and featured on her social media videos to boost her views. Supporting her financially and keeping up the slack in childcare, Cora will be a nobody today. That hurts. It hurts because I dedicated five years of my life to her career. She wouldn't be where she is without me. And it hurts because, like, she used me to get where she is, and then she's going to destroy me on the way out. Justin accused Cora of hurting their kids. Shortly after Justin announced their divorce, he alleged that Cora abused their first child, June, and often neglected the girls on Facebook Live. Speaking about it in an Instagram Live video, he said, Why I divorced Cora? What made me post what I posted? What made me emotionally lose control? And there's only one thing that can make me do that, and that's my kids. Um, and nothing else. Many of you know I divorced Cora because we got into an argument, and Cora says things to hurt me sometimes, and she repeatedly told me that she regretted that June their first daughter, ever been born. Given further details, he claims his now ex-wife assaulted June and almost dislocated her shoulder. But Cora fans know she loves her children dearly and would protect them at all costs. One thing that can make Cora mad is if her children are not well treated. Accusing her of hurting her children isn't a claim Cora will likely take lightly. She doesn't understand with what she's saying. Our kids are more likely to end up in foster care. Yeah. Uh, then be, then be with her. Justin attempted to steal money from Cora. Justin Dean has accused Cora of everything but never been a thief. However, the same cannot be said about him. During a Facebook Live on May 6, 2022, the multi-talented dancer and singer accused her ex-husband of not contributing a dime to the upkeep of their kids, yet stealing 5,000 US dollars from her. Threatening Justin to return the money within 24 hours, Cora called it a daylight robbery. He has done the last to me. He has done the last to me. This is the last thing he would do to me. I was gonna be quiet. I was keeping quiet. I was keeping quiet for my health, for my girls. I am breastfeeding. My child is two months old, barely two months old. 
I am taking care of a newborn and a toddler by myself. I just had help not too long ago. I just had help not too long ago. This man is waking up to still. But I do not care. All right. There's been some allegations made against me. I didn't. I transferred money. It was an accident. Okay. Responding to the allegation, the chiropractor said the withdrawal was a mistake and he makes more money than that as an elite clinician. $27,445. That's what I make as a 300 an hour clinician. An elite clinician. One of the top paid clinicians in the country. He boasted. He called Cora unprintable names and promised to end her fame. In a leaked video, Justin Dean called his ex-wife the C-word and promised to call her that until their daughters are 18, amongst other unprintable names. He also forced her out of their beach apartment a month after giving birth and Cora filmed herself moving her kids and belongings all by herself to a her new home when she could have been enjoying a push present from a loving husband and living her best life. But that's not all. He has promised to be a nemesis and ruin her life if he ever gets such an opportunity and up to this day, he is looking for evidence via her online video content. Justin Dean frustrates and stress Cora after announcing divorce. Following the end of a toxic marriage, many end. partners move on amicably and work around co-parenting in peace. Well, initially, Justin Dean had he us convinced that this was what me. he wanted. But thing. many months after, the father of two continues to do the exact opposite, stirring up drama on social media that has resulted in both parents being banned by court orders from bringing the children on social media. Cora also repeatedly cried out over what her ex-husband was doing to her behind the social media curtains. Justin Dean wants full custody of their kids. After their marriage ended, Justin told their millions of fans that he wanted to co-parent in peace. Sadly, he was only blindsiding his ex-wife while working behind closed doors to permanently take her kids away from her. According to Cora, her ex-husband, who claims is mentally unfit to work, surprisingly believes is the most mentally stable to parent their kids. As such, Justin filed not once nor twice for their children to be immediately taken away from her and still isn't giving up one year after the divorce. CPS were regularly sent to Cora's home. Filming one of the incidents, Cora disclosed that the police stated that they got information about the baby falling from a chair, which caused the visit. While venting in the video, Cora described this as harassment and torture perpetrated by her ex-husband. She threw some questions at him as to why he wanted to take her kids from her by all possible means. Even after a year of failed full child custody with no visitation rights as the mother, the chiropractor reportedly tells Cora that he will keep filing expertise until he takes the children away from her. Justin Dean wanted spousal support and was paid $50,000 by Cora. Cora Bidi in one of her videos revealed that after her ex-husband's lawsuit for full custody was rejected, he demanded spousal support. Describing her ex as a gold digger, Cora claims that he never contributed his cent to the children's upkeep during their separation. He also revealed that she had to pay him off with $50,000 as ordered by the courts because she earns more. He is competing with her on Facebook Live. Cora fans claim that the problems in her marriage started after her ex-husband found out how much money he makes from using social media. They also claim this is why he made their divorce public and in every way scandalous to help him kickstart a career as a content creator. True to their words, Justin has been competing with Cora on Facebook, using their divorce to stir up controversies that generate views for him and keep him on the trend table. If this is anything, it implies that Justin cares more about hurting Cora than the welfare of his kids. This is enough reason for Cora Obidi never to forgive him or return to him. So tell us guys, what do you think about our 11 reasons Cora should never forgive her ex-husband? Did we miss any important reason why Cora and Justin Dean can never forgive each other or come back together? Being a fan of the couple, what was the breaking point for you and what made you support one of them instead? Or should we say, never say never when it comes to forgiveness? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.